Welcome back my fellow victims of wanderlust and adventurers of YouTube. Today I'm both excited and a little bit nervous. Um, you know what? Let me spin the camera around, show you where we're at, and then I'll, I'll explain why I have a little bit of trepidation. Today we are at the Lost Lake Trailhead outside of Vail, Colorado. And as you can already tell, just this kind of uh, entrance is a little bit different than what we're used to. Much more remote. There are a lot of cars here because today is July 4th, but um, we had to take like a long seven mile dirt road to get here. So you could tell we're a little bit more out back and you know, um, you guys know I always love to show you the entrance because so often entrances are just amazing. Look at this sky, these trees, a nice gentle breeze. I'm going to go get the camera, get a little Colorado candy in me, and then um, we're going to start walking. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'll see you in a minute, YouTube. How do you guys like this for a trailhead entrance? Here we go. Lost Lake Trail. Nice path up and in. Okay, I mentioned I had some trepidation about this, and here's why. We are actually heading out on a seven-mile hike. And I know what you're thinking. Scotty P, you've just been telling us on the last two hikes how fat and out of shape you are. And we watched you. I got distracted. Look at that right through the trees. I mean, we've gone like 20 feet and I'm already loving that. Okay, so uh, where was I? Yeah, so you guys watched me on the last hike do a three mile loop that almost killed me. So you're thinking, well, how the hell can you do seven miles? And here's the thing, that was a three mile loop and it had crazy elevation. I didn't know quite how high that elevation was. This is an out and back. So that means 3.5 out, 3.5 back, and it's mostly flat like this. And there's a lake at the end of the 3.5. So my goal is we casually do the 3.5 miles, I get to the lake, I pack the little lunch, we eat some food, and we come back. So this is not supposed to, if this had crazy elevation like the last trail we did, there's no way. But it's supposed to be basically like this. Semi-flat just going through the woods. Whew. You can hear I'm a little out of breath just because of that original start. But you guys know the drill. I'm going to put you away. I'll pull you out for uh, views. or if I So here's one of the differences when you hike out in the mountains up in the Vail area compared to the Denver area is you're going to see ski resorts. This is one of the smaller mountains. I honestly can't remember the name. There's two right outside uh, Avon, Colorado. It's one of those two, but still looks cool. I'll try to take you guys to Vail Vail. Um, that's a big ski mountain. Check out that fluff. This is nice, these purples against that log like that. If the sun wasn't so bright, I'd take a picture of that, but I just know it's going to be super crazy, overexposed. But here's the trail, absolutely beautiful. All right, checking again in a little bit. It's impossible for me to explain to you how crazy the wildflowers have been this trail. It's just, now that the sun's gone down a little, I was hoping you could see. So this whole trail, it's nonstop on both sides of just greens and these purples everywhere. And I mean nonstop. You can kind of see the way they just keep going. And there's been some huge patches. It's just been crazy. So look at this. Every time you turn around a bend, it's just purples and greens everywhere. Okay, I just needed a little bit of water and give you a little glimpse of, into the woods. 
this time I'm really going to try to walk a good distance without stopping, taking pictures, and checking out all these crazy flowers. All right, you guys know the rules. When I get a good view, I always take out the camera to share, and you could probably already start to see, but when I come around this bend, oh yeah. <laughs> this is what Colorado is all about. There you go, YouTube. Let me zoom in on that action for you. Ding dong. All right, my friends, we are at the lake. Um, I just want to say one thing to the people on all trails who said it was a flat walk in. You are fucking liars. I mean, it wasn't awful. I get what you're saying, but that sure as hell wasn't flat. Let me spin around the camera, show you where we're at. And there it is. Lost Lake. Super clear water. You guys can see down in there. Um, the only thing, I'm not bummed, but not bummed. Except I see reflections here. So when we first got, I first got here, uh, there was no wind at all. And there was really nice reflection on the water. But I was so hungry, because it was a bigger hike than I thought coming in, that I sat down and ate. And while I was eating, this wind came in. And it's still really pretty, but I'm telling you, when there was no ripples, this water was so clear, I should have just grabbed out the camera. Especially with that beautiful fluff cloud up there. But no real regrets. It's still beautiful. The wind may die down. You can walk the whole lake. We're not going to because we're not, not a huge time constraint, but a semi time constraint. But we're going to walk probably about halfway, get some viewpoints from down around there, and I'll check in with you then. Just, I want to show you the trail's really nice. You can see going in and out of these woods, the lake on that side, and just this beautiful green. All right, look at all that beautiful green in there. I was gonna stop on our way to the lake because there were so many viewpoints, but I swear it would have taken us forever to get there. So maybe on the way back, but really just a whole lot of this, whole lot of green, 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 and wildflowers, green and wildflowers on the whole way here. Coming up to the opposite, not opposite, but that other angle of the lake I was showing you. Whew, that was a bigger log than I expected to go over. We almost just wiped out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, look at this. Oh my goodness, YouTube. So uh, the fluff is amazing, but also see right between those trees? Look at that mountain peak. We got some good views of that on our way in. But look at this. Uh, look at that fluff. The only, oh man, if this wind wasn't going and we could catch those clouds off of this lake, it would just be so crazy, but whatever, you know. How can, really, I mean, are we gonna complain with this? Look at this. We are not complaining YouTube, I promise you. Just because we wish we can have a good reflection doesn't mean we're complaining. This is why I love digital photography. I just took, and I'm not exaggerating, about 100 pictures over the last 10 minutes while sitting here. The reason being, because there is wind, like we just keep getting a different kind of a new fluff cloud pulling in like that. And then also, as it now starts to die down, you could see this. So I've been able to kind of get some reflection shots as well. So like I've probably, you know, like I said, it's well over a hundred. I'll probably like maybe three or four of them, but um, 
I have so much respect for people before there was digital like you know you only had so many shots and you had to make it work all right I'm going to catch a couple more pictures of the reflection and then we're going to start walking back I will um there was one or two views that were really nice I didn't show you on the way in here I'm going to show you on the way back and I'll see you in a few check this out YouTube tell me this doesn't have that Hansel and Gretel grim fairy tale even maybe like Lord of the Rings Hobbit feel to it. Sun keeps coming in and out. So I think you just saw with the sun out. So you saw how bright it was. And then how nice it gets like this. The wind's going. So I, I, I like that. I like when I get both the bright greens of the sun. And these more dull greens. Only because that means it's cooler out with the wind that rock that's definitely hobbit looking i almost i almost expect gandalf to just like jump out from behind there look at how cool this trail is i just had to share this with you so much forest goodness. And even though it's 4th of July and I actually have seen some people, it's amazing how empty it is here. Like I feel like I'm definitely 99% of the time I've been on this trail, I've certainly felt like I was completely alone. Nice view going out that way too. It's just non-stop views on this trail. The lake uh, was nice, but it's almost like it's a bonus. I think these, the trail and the views and the wildflowers and the greens and the forest, I think this is the, the real winner part of this trail. Alrighty, YouTube, this is the last view I'm giving you, and it is quite the view got the, uh, all the things we like. Nice blue sky, some pretty clouds, and let me show you that out into the distance. All right, that's some big Rocky Mountains out there. Plus, not to mention, let me pull back so you can get a feel. Like these valleys right here, in between where I am and those mountains way out there, just row after row of beautiful green trees. Let me try to tilt it down. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not sure if you could see it. I'll, I'll have a better idea when I get and look at the video at home, but it's just like almost waves, waves of trees. And oh my, how do I not show you that guy too? Boom, I delivered YouTube. I told you I was going to give you one last good view and I 100% delivered. YouTube, that was certainly an amazing journey. Even as I'm standing here signing off to you, I'm looking at these views and just like, oh, like the mountains, the sky, the greens. I'm just, my mind's freaking out, but I can't just sit here all day and look at it and look at it with you. So that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video.